Hi everyone, or Dr. Harris. Don't know where this is ending up. I don't know if I'm going to post this or where I should post it. Um, but I decided to video blog my writing reflection journal. Um, at least from this point forward. And this is also my attempt to be a little bit more technology friendly. Um, anyway. Uh, reflecting on my writing from this last week, um, let's see, technology actually p played a really big role in my writing last week, like, more than I ever thought it would. Um, last week I actually took a trip to Michigan and I didn't want to carry around with me, uh, the reading, I didn't print out the readings because I didn't want to carry out carry around stacks of papers and notebook and pen so I figured hey I have an iPad this is the time to use it for something else besides Pinterest so um normally when I write I handwrite everything first if I don't handwrite things first I feel like my writing suffers I I know that a lot of you like to type out your papers first I can't I feel like my writing comes out superficial, just fluff. Um, but like I said, for the sake of convenience, I only took my iPad with me and starting with the pre-writing, um, normally with my printed out handouts, I write things on the margin and then I start, I don't know, kind of outlining what I want to say. And I didn't do that this time. So what I would do is I started highlighting quotes that I thought were interesting or that struck me from the readings and then I would highlight them. Did I just say that? Anyway, I would highlight them and then I would screenshot them. And then when I was in reading, I would refer back to the comments that I had highlighted. And it was actually a pretty good way to keep everything organized. Um, when it came to writing my blog, um, something that I noticed that was different from my... Uh, regular practice of handwriting things is that when I handwrite things it's like I'm trying to get a million thoughts out of my head so I scribble a lot of gibberish down first until I get a good pace going until I finally get that thought that thought that's been bugging me I finally get it on paper and I think it's because the i the you know the iPad space the, the, the screen is only like you know it's small and I wanted to be able to see what I was writing um I didn't write down as much gibberish first. My writing was actually more organized. It was more, I don't know, it was it was like cleaner almost. There wasn't as much gibberish and that surprised me. Um, as far as if it was like superficial or not, I mean I was pretty happy with the blog that, that I wrote last week. Um, it was actually easier than I thought it was going to be to get my thoughts out onto the keyboard first. Um, I don't know if it's because I knew that I didn't have any pen or paper with me, and no, I could have asked my friend for pen and paper because she didn't have any. She's a science student, so they do everything on like tablets. Um, I don't know if it's because I knew that I only had the iPad with me that it forced me to like think and not write fluff. I don't know. But, um, I had an ease, a pretty, an easier time than I expected writing things down onto the tablet first. Um, yeah, I was really surprised that the whole pro, not so much the writing, but the pro, the writing process, it was just smoother, smoother than I expected it to be at least. And because I hadn't written so much, just like random thoughts down, I think it made for a better blog. Um, as for the rest of the writing that I did last week, I wrote a lot of emails. And that's also big for me because I don't like to email. I don't like to email because it takes me like an hour to write a simple line because I overthink it. But um, I emailed Dr. Harris about my absence. I emailed him about the forums. Uh, I emailed Dr. Toffer about my paper topic, which is another thing. I didn't handwrite it first. I emailed her a few things, like a few tape paper topic ideas and they came out pretty okay, um, and that's it. It's, 
just, it was all, like, technology first. It was weird. It was a different experience. I'm actually pretty happy with my writing from last week. That's not to say that I'm going to change my, like, methods forever. I probably will still handwrite things first because that's what's easiest for me. But it was nice to break out of my comfort zone when I reflected on it. Not at the moment. But, um, yeah.